My name is Perry Byrne Johnson. I have three degrees from USC, and I am currently a doctoral candidate working to get my PhD in communication. As I was an undergraduate in Annenberg, I had the opportunity to take uh, COM 307 Sound Clash, which was taught and designed by Dr. Josh Kuhn. For me, that class really opened my eyes to the world that I could pursue, both professionally and academically. I had always been really interested in cultural histories, issues of equality, equity, difference, and diversity, and really interested in music, particularly popular music. But up until that point, I didn't know that there was a pathway forward to sort of join all those interests together. Sound Clash gave me insight into not only that that was possible, but a way to think critically about the interchanges between these spaces. So when I applied to the doctoral program at Annenberg, I knew that I wanted to again enter that space. One of my research projects um, as a doctoral student here at Annenberg has looked specifically at the Billboard Hot 100 charts in an effort to ask why aren't there more women represented, what do those numbers actually look like, and is that representative of women in the music industry more broadly? The answer, of course, is no. The Billboard Hot 100 was an entry point for me to then look at Billboard's annual Women in Music luncheon. I found that in those moments of award recognition that women were using their award show speeches to disclose and or speak further about instances of, of abuse, sexual misconduct, or sexual assault. For example, Back to Back Years honored Madonna and then Lady Gaga and then Kesha, three women who all took the opportunity to talk further about their experiences of sexual misconduct and sexual assault within the music industry, not simply about their musical success. And for me, as I was deciding what I wanted to, to focus my dissertation topic on, that was sort of really my aha moment. That's the question we need to be asking, not simply how many women exist in this space, but rather what are sort of the barriers to entry and the structures of power that keep women from being able to have access to these opportunities. And then the Harvey Weinstein story broke in the New York Times. So now I have been navigating this research in the midst of the Me Too and Time's Up moment. After I finished my PhD, I am interested in continuing to do research in this space. I've been fortunate at Annenberg to now teach the course that changed my life, COM 307 Sound Clash, which really brought things full circle for me. It was the opportunity to re-engage with a space that had sort of changed the trajectory of my academic career, and I felt really fortunate to be engaging with that again and to be able to share it with a new generation of students.